You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading for today is lifted from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 23 verses 27 to 32. Jesus said, What do you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites? For you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside they are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. What do you scribes and Pharisees? Hypocrites, for you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, If we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your ancestors. Hi there! How are you doing? I hope you have an incredible day. What harsh words did Jesus say again in today's reading? Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of uncleanness. On the outside, you also look righteous to others, but inside, you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Wow, very intimidating words. Today's reading continues the seven woes that Jesus addressed to the Pharisees last Monday. But the message strikes you and me too. Yes, it hits all of us who are sometimes inclined to act like the Pharisees. Look at us, for example. If we sometimes have the tendency to sugarcoat our words, to manipulate others into buying our opinions, or manipulate situations to our benefit. Another question is, how many of us are sometimes fooled by people's external appearances. We go into raptures about how they behave, their grooming, their body language, the way they speak, and so on, but only to find out later that they are among those who are unethical and professionally unfair in dealing with their subordinates. Today's gospel confronts us with a question of how we consider things compared to how Jesus regards things differently. This is not just a historical account, but a living message that resonates with our daily experiences. Jesus, for example, knew that the woman the Pharisees accused of adultery was a sinner, but he did not condemn her because Jesus saw the woman's repentance. This inner disposition of the woman is what the Pharisees failed to see. All they said was, they caught her in the act of adultery. The same goes true with how the Pharisees see the tax collectors. For them, they are but sinners. Jesus' perspective has the power to transform our understanding and actions. The message of today's gospel is clear. Jesus cares very much about the inside of the person. Yes, he cares about what's going on 
in our minds and hearts, such as our motivations and desires. He warns us not to easily judge people's words, actions, and external appearance because what you say is not always what you get, says Julie Ann Peters. Let's strive to be more empathetic and understanding in our interactions. Lord, you know that we are also hypocrites at times. We want to look good before the eyes of people around us. But please remind us not to be pharisaical in our attitudes, presenting ourselves as good and holy. When deep in our hearts, we want to be praised and admired by others. May we be the best we can for your eyes only and not for men. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.